What's up, Android fans? This is TechNick9 from AndroidTechLabBlackSpot.com. So today I have the Verizon version. Yes, this is my friend's Verizon Galaxy Nexus CDMA. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Jelly Bean onto your Verizon and Sprint phone for your Galaxy Nexus. So right away, download the links below. There will be a link there. Just download one for Sprint over Verizon. Once you got that downloaded, plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to your USB port of your computer. After you got that all done, we're going to be turning on a computer and we'll do the rest of the process. Also, one last thing I forgot to mention, make sure you have Clockwork Not Recovery installed onto your phone already. And if you're interested in the GSM version, you can find both links there on Clockwork Not Recovery for Mac, Windows, and how to install Jelly Bean Stack on GSM Galaxy Nexus right there, all three links right there. So just make sure you have Clockwork Recovery already installed. Once you get installed, as you can see right here, you have Ryzen and Sprint. And if you're on Windows, as soon as you plug your phone in, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. It should be popping up any second. And if you're on a Mac, you should use Android File Transfer. I will also have that in the description below. Right there, that will be popping up. So we're just going to go to Open Device to View Files, and we're going to be transferring that zip file onto our phone. So once again, Transfer the Ryzen one to your phone or transfer the Sprint one to your phone. Matters which one. Don't transfer the wrong one. Something bad might happen to your phone. So I have a Ryzen. So I'm going to be transferring it. As you can see, it's being transferred. So the back once is done. The transferring is done. I transferred that zip file on my phone. So now, since that is done, you can just unplug your phone and we're going to bring the rest of the process on our. Alright, let's recap. Make sure your Clockwork Mirror Recovery are installed. If you don't, you can look right there on the link right there. And make sure you, you transfer that Ryzen or Sprint Jelly Bean zip file onto here. Do not unzip it, just transfer it directly onto here. So once you got that done, we're going to be entering into bootloader mode and then into recovery mode. So if you're running custom ROM, you might have recovery right there. If not, we're just going to do the manual way. So just power off your phone. Alright, it's powered off. Hold all three buttons together. Volume up, volume down, and power button. Keep holding until you feel a vibration. Okay. Now press the volume up twice. And power button, select recovery. And from here, we're going to be doing a factory reset from Cloud Not Recovery. So make sure you back up all the files. If you haven't, reboot back into the normal RAM or stock RAM or whatever you have. And back up all your files onto the computer. So this will delete all your phone's data. So right away we're just going to go to wipe data slash factory reset. And we're going to be selecting yes. So let's take a few minutes. I'll be back when this is done. Alright, that was actually pretty quick. Next we're going to go to wipe cache partition. And that will be a quick one. And just select yes. That's done. Now we're going to go into advanced and we're going to wipe Dalvik cache. Call the NTS and pop and select yes. Done. Now we're going to go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and find that Verizon or Sprint Jelly Bean ROM that you transferred earlier. So it might be in the folder. If you transfer in the folder, most likely you never transfer in the folder. Alright, so you can see right there, let me focus it Verizon Jelly Bean ROM. Yours might say Sprint. Select that one and select yes. Now this one will actually take a few minutes because you are installing a new ROM. So I'll be back once it's done. Alright, that is complete. So we're just going to go back now. And we're going to reboot system now, the very first one. And once this finished rebooting, it will take about 5 minutes. So please be patient. It will only take 5 minutes for the first time rebooting because you are installing Jelly Bean on your device. So after this is done, you will be on the new stock Jelly Bean for your Verizon or Sprint device. So right away, as you can see, you got the new Jelly Bean boot animation. So that's that's really cool. Alright, took just about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. So let me just skip through all this. And now you are on the official Jelly Bean for Verizon or Sprint device. So really let me show you Google Now. As you can see, Google Now is right there. My Wi-Fi and data are turned off, so it will not be working. I, I'll just show you. I'll just type in something. It'll say, um, can I connect a server? So there's a problem. But that is how you get stock Jelly Bean on your Samsung, Galaxy Nexus, Verizon, and Sprint. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great content and rooting clock on my recovery and top 10 best steps and a lot more other videos. Thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to support me by liking me on Facebook, adding me, add, following me on Twitter, adding me to your circle on Google+. And those are also great ways to get in contact with me for any support for Android. Thanks for watching guys.